Good morning, the faith I live by October 2nd, a city of refuge. Psalms 132, verse 13 and 14. For the Lord hath chosen Zion. He hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. Through centuries of persecution, conflict, and darkness, God has sustained his church. Not one cloud has fallen upon it that he has not prepared for. Not one opposing force has risen to counterwork his work that he has not foreseen. All has taken place as he predicted. He has not left his church forsaken, but has traced in prophetic declarations what would occur and that which his spirit inspired the prophets to foretell has been brought about. All his purposes will be fulfilled. His law is linked with his throne and no power of evil can destroy it. Truth is inspired and guarded by God and it will triumph over all opposition. During ages of spiritual darkness, the church of God has been as a city set on a hill. From age to age through successive generations, the pure doctrines of heaven have been unfolding within its borders. It is the theater of his grace in which he delights to reveal his power to transform hearts. The church is God's fortress, his city of refuge, where he, which he holds in a revolted world. Any betrayal of the church is treachery to him who has brought mankind, bought mankind, sorry, with the blood of his only begotten son. From the beginning, faithful souls have constituted the church on earth. In every age, the Lord has had his watchmen who have borne a faithful testimony to the generation in which they lived. These sentinels gave the message of warning, and when they were called to lay off their armor, Others took up the work. God brought these witnesses into covenant relation with himself, uniting the church on earth with the church in heaven. He has sent forth his angels to minister to his church, and the gates of hell have not been able to prevail against his people. God loves his children with infinite love. To him, the dearest object on earth is his church. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.